Hello everyone, welcome to The Matrix Awakens. This is not really a complete game, this is more of just like a tech demo of the Unreal Engine 5 and what this software is actually capable of. I've seen a few videos on it and it looks pretty bloody unbelievable. Unreal Engine 5 is a fairly new software aimed at game development and yeah, I'm really interested to see how everything looks and how future games might look on the next gen hardware. So let's jump in and check it out. I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that, why we want to make X instead of Y, where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here, that it was important for me to ask people. How do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? your theoretical mumbo-jumbo, but they needed some sexy action. Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. Sure. Welcome to the Matrix. Wow. You still got it. Riding a bike, may say. I sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing back there? Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. Word of advice. Agents are bad. But whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. So, what now? Haven't you ever watched a movie before? Shoot the tires. Say no more. All right, here we go. Now we're up. Oh, okay. So it's not really an actual FPS. Just like pick the target and shoot. <laughs> we can do that. Oh, bloody hell. Look at this game, though. This is nuts. Dodge this. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh 
Oh my god, this is insane. Here we go, we're at the front now. I have to say though, I definitely notice the dip in frames every now and then. Like, I don't think it's running at 60, it's more like 30. And every now and then, there is like a little bit of a dip. But for what it is, it looks pretty unbelievable. Destruction. You again. Take him down, boys. Hold steady. Hell yeah. What are you doing? Time to blow this box down. Five. Yeah, the amount of destruction that goes on on scene is pretty unbelievable. It almost feels like every single piece of, of material is destructible. Oh wow, automatic open world streaming toggle mass AI visualization. Lumen digital dynamic global illumination and reflections. Pretty bloody unbelievable, hey. Particle system. Man, if they can somehow get this to run at 60 frames in the future, maybe with like a, a mid-generation update or something, then it would be pretty unbelievable. Because 60 frames seems like the staple coming into this next generation, right? So if they can just bump up that FPS a little bit somehow. Nanite visualization? Yeah, it's so nuts. So every type of material is made up of these little tiny triangles and then like shaded individually. Metahuman. Oh, oh, can we actually explore now? No way. Wow, okay, so what are we doing? Fly. Oh, okay, so you can like come out of the body? Interesting. Sprint. Okay. Ah, okay, I get it. So there's two different like parts 
to this Unreal Engine 5 experience, I guess. One of them is just exploring the city and the other one is the chase. I assume the chase would have probably pushed the system more to its limits just because of all the different particle effects and explosions and, and so much going on on screen. So that was a really interesting demo. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is where we're getting it here. Hopefully we can see some awesome things come out of Unreal Engine 5 in 2022. Unfortunately, COVID happened and it pushed a lot of the games back a little bit. But now we're starting to see some of the games we've all been waiting for. I mean, in February alone, we have Dying Light 2, Crossfire X, Horizon Forbidden West and Elden Ring. And they're all pretty bloody big AAA experiences. So super excited to kick off the year with a bang. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.